By now, many of us have heard that 5G is delivering new services as well as another level of user experience. How is this possible? There are three critical areas where 5G can elevate performance in mobile communications, throughput, connectivity, and latency. Let's talk a bit more about latency. Why is latency important? Well, low latency is key for services including remote robot operation, autonomous driving and mission-critical communications, where reducing the response time by even one millisecond is crucial. One way to lower latency is to reduce the time for users to gain initial access to a network. Normally, in both LTE and 5G NR, user devices go through several processes to be granted access to a network. This process, called Random Access Channel, or RACH, usually occurs with four messages sent between a device and base station. Through the first message, a device sends its initial signal to the base station. Next, the base station sends a response back to the device with important information such as time advancement command, ID and uplink attachment grant. The device then responds back to the base station, and with the last message, the base station grants final access to the network. This legacy, for step ratch process takes up time, which increases latency of a connection. Therefore, Samsung is leveraging its expertise to simplify and shorten the time for initial access process. To reduce the number of trips between a device and base station, the first and third messages are combined as well as the second and fourth message to enable two-step ratch. This successfully reduces the latency to start a connection and guarantees fast 5G service during handover. This two-step ratch is based on 3GPP's RHEL 16 standards and Samsung has integrated the technology to its entire portfolio including the baseband, massive MIMO radios and radios. Samsung will continue to develop advanced, innovative technologies to boost user experience.